half and half pot, which is the original milky bone broth. And the spicy is just the bone broth, but with uh, peppers, garlic, and some other herbs. So here's an example of the menu. Take your time to go through it. There's many options that we have on there. Uh, one of the examples that we have is the meats. We really like the fatty beef. Um, and there's also other options like the meatballs and paste. We have shrimp paste, lamb paste, fish balls, um, as you can see here. There's also dumplings and there's many other options on this list. Some of the things that we usually go with, as you can see, we have head on shrimp, shrimp paste, some of the meatballs, fish balls, there's beef tripe, we got two kinds of dumplings, lamb and pork. Then you got the veggies and the noodles, a great variety of mushrooms. And don't forget, they don't recommend it, but you can always ask for dipping sauces. There's a couple ways of cooking your meats and vegetables. Uh, this way is the pure chopstick method, where you just grab your meat and you dip it in straight into the broth. Uh, wiggle it around until it's cooked to your liking. Option number two is the ladle assist. We recommend using the slotted ladle. Go ahead and put it in the ladle. That'll help you keep control of your meat. Go ahead and swish it around, dip it around. Again, cook it to how you like to eat. Go ahead and enjoy. So option three is the all-in shove. So you just put all the meat into one pot and swish it around. It's perfect if you're really hungry and wait for it and you enjoy it. All right, so I'm about to share one of my, my most coveted hot pot secrets with y'all. So these are Chinese donuts, all right? So you go ahead, whichever broth you like, hit it real quick. Yeah, put it on your plate. Pick yourself a meat of your choice. Because it cooks so quick, get it up in there, all right? Damn, Stay from the soup. Wrap that donut one biter, baby. Trust me. You're gonna love it. At this point, you can go ahead and take out all the herbs and peppers that are in the broth. You've gotten all the flavors and nutrients that you can out of it, and it'll make things a lot easier for cooking, especially when you go on the noodles and vegetables. However, if you like it extra spicy, leave it in. The longer you leave in the peppers, the spicier that broth is gonna get. Always wrap up our hot pot with noodles because for all you can eat, if you eat it in the beginning, you're gonna get really full really fast. So we always save the best for last. So that's it, you guys. That is Hot Pot 101. If you're in SAC, check out Little Sheep. Uh, variety, quality, pricing, we think it's all there. So comment below, let us know your favorite spot. And check out our most recent videos down here and don't forget to subscribe over here. And don't forget, Data foodie, change your life. You hungry? I can eat.